Hi everyone, it's Nalani and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are doing a first impressions, mini little review on this Dragon Beauty Transformation Face Powder. This powder is not new. It is very, very new to me. I just got my hands on it. I picked it up when it was their latest 30% off sale. So I, the, I, I just, I knew I wanted this ever since I saw her launch it but I just waited and I'm glad that I finally got my hands on it. So this is what the packaging looks like. Lots of beautiful, beautiful detail. This is the back. And I don't remember exactly how much this retails you for, but I will have all the information down below for you guys just to make everything so much easier. So this is the front of it. Again, very, very nice details. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. And then this is the back right here. So when you open it, you do get a nice size mirror and right here you do get the products. So this is the pink powder and this is the yellow powder. On the back it tells you what both of them are for. So the pink opal is a beautifully brightened with a glowy pink pearl and then the yellow topaz, which is down below right here, illuminates with light refracting yellow pigments. I am someone who loves a pink powder. Too much yellow pulls way too yellow on me. So it's either a pink or a peachy brightening powder that's usually my preference so I just figured mixing both of these together would be perfect so I've already just set my face I don't I didn't bake underneath my eyes or anything like that I just wanted to see how well this was going to work and brighten so I'm going to do the pink side on this side and then the yellow here and then I'll just kind of compare and let you guys see what it's doing so I'm just using a BH Cosmetics it's my Ray Ray number four little brush you can use whatever you want so I'm just going to go in right here with the pink actually I want to smell it first okay there's no scent so that's always nice so there is a little bit of kickback and you do get a nice little coating right here, just dusting off the excess. And I am just going to, wow, dad, I didn't, I don't know what I was expecting, but that is really, really pigmented. Do you, wow, okay. I can see I'm probably going to need to mix both of these shades together. I didn't think it was going to be that intense. So I think I need to dust a little bit of this off. I think I put way too much. Okay, so very, very pigmented. Little goes a very long way. And it's not matte. It is giving me a very, very glowy look and I mean this is looking this I'm, I'm looking a little crazy right now because it's looking overly bright but in person this looks stunning oh my god okay I'm just trying to make sure that I'm blending this out really really well but wow okay so now I'm just dusting it off and I'm gonna go in with the, the yellow on the side and we're gonna do a little comparison so I'm just gonna go in with one little dab one, one little okay and let's see okay it did do a little bit going in with another small amount I just don't want to go too heavy-handed this is really brightening up well okay. wow this is looking so so nice okay so I can definitely see the difference I don't know if on camera you guys can see the difference, this is the pink and then this is the yellow. The pink is a lot more brightening on my complexion, but I like both so, so much. I'm gonna take this little sticker off so I can really see it up close. But my under eyes are looking really, really smooth. They are not looking cakey and we look awake we look really really awake okay i'm just gonna take whatever is left over and just kind of balance my face a little bit oh wow do you okay so again pink yellow let me know in the comments below what you guys like more i i like both i can definitely i'm definitely gonna make use of both of these shades but what i'm gonna do now so I'm gonna go in with this yellow, just take a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna balance it with this pink, just to see. Okay, 
This is so brightening. Okay, let me go on with the pink on this side. This is so bright. You really need a very, very small amount of product. A little goes a very, a very long way. So let me just blend and buff. I love this. I absolutely love this. I think it is so worth getting, especially if you really just want to brighten up your eyes. If you're someone, I don't usually like baking all of the time and I don't bake all the time, but I do want that brightening effect without really having to do the most. And this is it. This is definitely my problem solver. This is exactly what I was hoping for. And I do have a fine lines underneath my eyes. It is not emphasizing it. Things are looking smooth. It is not matte. It's got that very nice glowy, what is the word? It's just glowy. It is glowy. It is beautiful. I feel like on camera it is looking really, really bright. But in person, this looks so, so nice. I'm just going to take my little beauty sponge and I'm just going to just kind of melt things together and then see what it's looking like. Yeah, I love this. I love this. I would 100% recommend getting this, but please just keep in mind, use a very, a little goes a very, very long way. So yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. Extremely, extremely excited about this. I love this, I love this. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm pretty sure it was really, really long for no reason, but we're happy. We are happy with this product. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you try this out, what you think about it, and which side you liked more. I like both, like I said. I liked both, but let me know in the comments below what you liked. And I will see you in my next video.